We have really nice to have our gadget guy, Mike Yanni, back in the BT studio so we can keep a beat on what's going on on the internets. What's up? Well, a couple out of Kelowna making some, uh, some headlines, I guess, online this morning. You know, determining the name of your child is difficult. It's very difficult. You know, difficult. you make the list and you go through it over and over again. So a couple in Kelowna decided, well, let's ask the internet what we should name our daughter. So the husband, I should say this is actually the dad. This is the husband came up with this idea. Yeah, but the wife said, all right. She, she's okay with it. Wow. But so she came up with a website called namemydaughter.com. And so okay. he said, you know what, go at it. Have fun. What should we name our daughter? So let's take a look. We'll bring up the website here, uh, and we'll take a look at some of the votes. So number one, Amelia. Okay, that's fourteen thousand votes. That's great. That's what not bad. Is number two? I can't even read that. Yeah, you know what? It's it's Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Cthulhu is number two. That okay. is bizarre. Do you know what that is? No. It's apparently a mix between a giant human, octopus, and dragon. <laughs> I mean, I would suggest maybe that's a good second or third name. Maybe yeah, not a first maybe, name. Maybe a good middle name. Uh, Laquisha, Megatron, <laughs> gotta love that one. Zelda's in there. There's some pretty amazing uh, names not here. Not Zelda. Uh, C-3PO is further down the list. Street Lamp is number Street 10. Street Lamp. Honey Badger's in there. And I didn't know Andrew Schultz uh, made a suggestion, but coming in at number 3,031, Yolo Swagger. <laughs> Clearly that's Schultz. <laughs> okay, now they are not, when's the deadline, first of all, and they are not willing to do anything too out there, right? No, they, they do ha say that, uh, you know what, we have final discretion on what the name is. Have okay. fun with your names, but we do have the ultimate say. Good call. Yeah, because they said they don't want Wacky Taco 296 as a daughter's <laughs> name, so. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Uh, and C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Yes, talking about cookies, uh, you know, you, you can make different variations of cookies, and it just takes a little bit of one ingredient to alter the entire recipe. Well, a guy in the States decided he's going to make a cookie machine to make the perfect cookie. Take a look at this device. This contraption is crazy. So basically what this does is that all the ingredients are separated and you can actually create individual cookies. It just gives out the exact amount of ingredients for one cookie. But you can alter it every single time slightly so you can make 30 variations of a single cookie on one cookie sheet. Whoa, that is super cool. Isn't that crazy? Isn't it amazing how people spend their time? Yeah. <laughs> he needs a girlfriend. <laughs> I think so. Uh, Gadget Guy, thank you for this.